Hello and welcome to my Morphin Tube tutorial. This tutorial is already existing in German and I was asked to translate it. So first we draw a line, uh, a morph line in the ground floor, change into 3D. We activate uh, the morph line and extend it into Z direction and extend it into negative Z direction. We want to try to create a down spout, for example. Now we have to round out the corners all. Now we activate the path that is important because the element we draw and we want to extrude has to be related to the path. We have a circle here now and we will extrude with tube along the path. The first point has to be the first point of the path otherwise you can't follow the path and then we go knot by knot and this will follow the path automatically and now the object looks like that as an alternative we can use the bow command you go to the first knot of the path the next and now we change into the bow command and go not by not then and you can see there are no segments it's everything created with the bow command now we can compare the object let's render it first this object with the bow command has no segments in the bows but it looks a little bit like with a failure there where the straight tube goes into the bow tube okay let's compare it with the segment one we go again to the first knot of the path to the next and the next and here you see the segments of the form of the circle form so now we render this too and you can see it's a little bit straighter than the other one but that's not content of this tutorial um, it's only for to compare it a little bit which way is perhaps the better way for you I don't know so now I'll show you what happens if I want to extrude an open form uh, when the path is not touching the form now the path is in the center of the form and not touching one of its edges or areas we try to extrude take the first knot the next knot and the next knot at the end of the bow what happens nothing oh it's it's rounding out but the point is jumping back to that position i catched the area so you see that does not work at all you have a connection between the form and the path if i want to get a hollowed tube i have another trick here you can copy the path um, in 90 degrees to the other path that's important i create two different large circles and i follow 
the path again. Um, oh, the first bow didn't round out, so I can show you how to use both of the circles simultaneously. We go to the first nut and then we round them out knot by knot. But here the paths have to be parallel to each other and the path itself has to be 2D. So now I copy the smaller one into the larger one and now you can see it's sitting inside and I will subtract the inner from the outer object now. And ta-da! I delete it and what happens? Nothing happens. The form is not hollowed right now. Here you have to consider that the form is related to the path. So you first have to delete the whole path to create a related object, a non-related object, a full body object. So now there's no path in it anymore. You move it back into the middle, into the center of the bigger tube and now you can cut it out. Change into morphs. Yes, delete the core. Ta-da! It's hollowed. This works with all copied paths, um, but it's a little bit exhausting if the path is very long and you have to delete the whole path out of the object. So now rendered, it looks like that. Quite cool. For a 2D path there is an easier possibility for that. We do that later. First I want to show the free 3D form path. So I prepared a free 3D path and added the circle. Now we extrude the circle again, first knot of the path, knot by knot, and it's rounding out quite pretty every bow. So this works for a completely free 3D path also. Perhaps you look for some little smoother angles, but it works. Okay, now the example with an open form along a 2D path with no connectivity between form, extruded form and path. So we delete the 3D path, we draw the circle Okay, done you can see in 2D in, in the ground floor uh, it is a 2D path and in the 3D you can see the Z direction. Now you take the circle and move it out parallel to the path. That's important. You create a donut out of the circle
delete the center. Now we activate the donut and the circle. That's important because the circle is touching the path. Oops, we forgot to round out. Let's do that again. Okay, and now we extrude both areas from the first point of the path and then knot by knot. And now the open form follows the bows and the path because the circle is touching the path. That's important. Now we delete this form and we've got a hallowed tube very well. This does only work parallel with 2D paths. If I take a, a third direction, uh, the path is not following the same form. It goes another way. That was my tutorial, Morph and Tube. I hope you enjoyed and it was helpful to somebody and I would love to see you again. Thank you. Yours, Andy.